Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to this edition of uh, Rush and Led Zeppelin Gospel. And uh, because even uh, the, the, the bad boys of the world whom has been considered to be bad by fundamental Christianity, they've also had a good message and they also need to be heard by the masses. And in the idea of restoration of all things, now comes the Bad Boy Club. And I hope you enjoy their sermon of love. And um, the bottom line, people, is those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. So now it's time to take different roads, a good road and a bad road. And a lot of times we take bad roads along the way and we're searching. And uh, we should not be under any condemnation from ourselves because there is no condemnation over us when we take bad roads. Uh, as long as our light of love is on, that's what the Bible really says. Um, there is no condemnation for those who walk in love. And it is time to all of us to arise in love. So I hope you enjoy my interpretation of classics from Rush and Led Zeppelin back when uh, I was but a, a teenager. Sometimes two roads meet and stays one road until the end. But sometimes they just cut each other and never meet again. So during that journey, many end up going down wrong roads to find their way. And so our wisdom of the ages now declares that everyone trying to travel two roads at once will never get anywhere. So by his brightest light of love, he sends forth his star of stars to be night's brightest compass light that can be seen from afar. And it came to pass that two different roads came together in the woods. And love says we must take the one less traveled by if we want the golden road of his very best blessings, of his everlasting benevolence and his most precious tender mercies that shall make all the difference in the world in order for the fullness of the kingdom age of peace to finally arise as it is written. And as the wise turn down the flowery path of hemlock, clover, and lilies of the fields, those hearing with their passion climbing shall feel the utter depths of their trusting hearts as they beat for the first time in many years. And they shall sense that there is unrest in the forest and trouble with the trees. For hard-headed people are as the maples that need more light, uh, they think. <laughs> but all the oaks surrounding deprived uh, uh, cry out and all their pleas are just ignored. The trouble with the, uh, with the uh, maples of men is that they are religious and far too lofty and selfishly they grab all the lights. Religious critics are the maples who won't be happy in God-given shade. Instead, they laugh and mock the oaks as they begin to fade. For this cause, a parable of peace has our eternal love now made. In spite of enough love, light of love for all, all the commotion has caused all open-mindedness to flee away as the maples started to mix their hateful potions, as, as the oaks just shake their head in shame. So the oaks suddenly unite while insisting that, their, that sharing love's most beautiful light was always their God-given right. For they knew the maples were far too greedy as their selfishness soared way up high into the troubled night, far beyond their farthest reach of their farthest branch. And as the maples turned to, to look, go down the wide road of poison oak and thorn, the ones becoming oaks saw that down their new road of prosperity all of the trees are kept equal by our living forest keeper by hatchet, axe, and saw. No more shall inequalities fright prosper down love's kingdom path of peaceful rights. 
For the sower has overtaken the reaper, Amos 9, in their all seeing in his all seeing sight. And it is time that the new day comes that will take your breath away. And as we journey down those paths that will take our breath away, um, his wheat and tares can grow no more together in each other's shade or light. Many journeys shall end in that restored forest of peace, but the secret has always been the same, that life is just a candle and love its only flame. And the moral of the story is that everyone holding high places needs to become the ones to start to mold a new reality closer to their hearts. For as Getty Leah Rush always sang, it's finally the foretold hour of our love's strongest power since it's the time for us to all climb up his tallest, tallest tower. For both philosophers and plowmen each must know his part to sow the reality of the sickle of love's mystery. So let the oaks and the maples all run love's road in peace together with goals sent from our arising sun of love that are the same. And let that oneness come and let it, let it come because it is of hope and let it shine within all hearts as one. And as the other road is abandoned, the one that the maples were dying upon, uh, it shall be time for all to see that ignorance, prejudice, and fear alone shall haunt that deserted way. And as those of love go down their winding roads, their shadows of his peace shall be taller than their souls. For as the autumn moon of hope glows, Above they'll see, they'll see that everything is shining white by their own light as the surrounding forest suddenly breaks. And within but a moment of a moment, all upon that narrow path shall come to see that even if that moon of hope refused to shine, their exploding light of love would let them all see. And a new day of love's prosperity will then dawn for those who stand strong as those forests echo with laughter. So if you wake up with that sunrise of love and all your dreams are new, then that happiness will evermore be living within you. Upon us a little rain must always fall as the winds of God's blessedness arises in love with this word of his devotion. So listen hard and listen well, for there have always been two paths any of us could go by. But in the end, the wise will know when to change the road they're on as they walk towards hope. For even though the course may change, sometimes rivers always reach the sea. And if you listen very hard, the truth will come to you at last, that when you are all one and one is all, to be a rock and not to roll. For even the rocks now cry out love and peace as the pebbles throw in their happy song too. But the boulders are still far too big for their own good and all they do is frown. But even the smallest of stones stand as one for they know it's time for all boulders and mountains to finally all be cast down. For their close-minded pride won't allow them to see like the maples that since all big or small are loved equally, the biggest rocks of hateful passion can finally crumble and go back into the sea. Many blessings from blessings, hope from hope. And uh, I say unto you all, as I turn this around, <laughs> I say, hello. My name is not Mr. Morg. My name is the guy that has outed the lawless one. Watch him. Morg official. <laughs> He's the one that would die, really, by a, a sword in Revelation 13, 13, and arise and become the lawless one. So keep your friends close and your enemies closer, because in the bottom line, people, is that 
it's wisdom to know what that guy's doing because he has designs on taking over this world. But it'll never come to pass because a new day has dawned. The kingdom age arises. The kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 has been given and it has a literal meaning to all flesh. And because it does, it always makes sense truthfully as the gospel shines that all those who love are born of God and know him because he is love that shines on us all. And down with the maples, down with the boulders, the light has come. <laughs>